Hi, my name is Eric Zavisky. I'm a director of inventive science here at at t and CDO. I'm here to talk about the science and technology award that I received for the Call Before You Dig project, where we're helping to clear or issue a dispatch to mark buried cables throughout your neighborhood. What first drove this research is it's a big problem. We got more and more customers coming in and more and more dig opportunities, our buried cable from classic copper to now fiber, and it's spanning the country. Of course, all of that's even harder for people to extract and be experts on by themselves. So we're using automation to improve the detection and approval of when someone can dig. Of course, we're concerned, right? We have buried cables, fiber, and we wanna make sure that that doesn't get cut so that the hospital, the school, or even your home doesn't lose their internet because someone else is trying to build a new driveway. at t then has a responsibility to spray paint the areas that demark a particular buried cable. So the decision is, do we have to dispatch to have someone mark the buried cable? Or can we say, all clear, let's get on with your dig. So I mentioned that the name of the project is Call Before You Dig, but it's actually using a number of different technologies. The first one that we added with our innovation is a more geospatial recognition of both the land and the facilities, the buried cables, the fiber, et cetera, that are in the area and known to us as the company. A second set that we're using is natural language processing. I know uh, chatbots and stuff are in vogue right now, but even an elemental understanding of someone typing in, I want to dig in the southwest corner of my lot. Using natural language processing, we can analyze those tickets, kind of spatially locate the southwest corner, according to the ticket text, and have a better understanding of, again, is this okay to dig or not? Then the last part that we tried was using computer vision. We're using street views that are captured as people roll through their neighborhoods, and we're trying to analyze those pictures to see if we see the pedestals or the very large junction boxes that are used to splice fiber and cables to your house. Clearly, it's great to be recognized for this award for the technical accomplishments, but it's great to know that it has an impact as well. From that initial 250 million, we save 13 to 60 million year over year as well. We are seeing more challenges as we look for localities in a specific state, what a customer or an individual staff and employee has done to touch the ticket themselves, or embrace new technologies that are feeding back into the system as a whole. My hope and my mission will be keeping these things working together to complement each other as much as possible. And we're so excited to keep on digging. See what I did there? All right, that's a wrap. <laughs>